Okay, now I want to show you how to add a true library. Our libraries are, you can define several libraries. I just show you uh, some examples, which we have, which I have done previously. So you can have as many libraries as you can, as you wish. You know, you can put different parts inside. Libraries can, you know, have uh, functions or can have package files or model manager files to be loaded. Here you see several examples of libraries. Those libraries users can create by themselves. It's very easy. It consists of uh, some pictures, you know, so I'll show you all different type of libraries, you know, you could do. Okay. And this library is calling a function, but the other ones are calling parts. All right. Uh, just to create the library, the first thing we should do is to store the part as package file or store the part to the model manager database. In this example, we will store the part uh, as a package file. So I just go to modeling and I uh, take the part to the standard position, select the part, the assembly, and I bring it to zero, 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 you know. So this is uh, very important if you load the parts from model manager or from uh, file system, first they should be positioned at zero, zero, zero. Okay, so here we go. And the part is moved to zero, zero, zero. Now I can just uh, normal, uh, with the normal uh, store command, I can store the assembly. Like I said, you can also store the file, the part in the model manager as well. But in this example, we are using just simple file system. Select the part and just store it in any file system folder. Okay, the part is stored. I go back to make the pictures. Now I want to make two different pictures. Uh, the first picture will be the picture for the uh, sub menu, and the sub. In the second picture will be the picture of the entry. For is, for instance, you know, like this will be the sub menu pictures, you know, pilots or spin trolley, and inside the sub menu there will be some parts. So in this case, I need two pictures. One for the sub menu one for the part okay i call you know our special function for that the first one is only text i just write the title for the sub menu for instance tie bars okay so i just change the background color and this will be okay for our sub menu title i store it uh, you know you can store it in any different folder but of course, the best is when the part and the BMP files are together. All right, stored. Now the second picture will be the entry, the picture for the entry itself. Here I will just use the part. Okay, I just create, add some parts to my picture. Okay. All right. Okay, so I also now want to use the clipping and for clipping, maybe it's not good to have the clipping plane inside. Just take the clipping plane out. Okay, so this looks nice. And I want maybe change the background a little bit before I take the picture. Okay, so this background call be okay. So I say, this picture is okay. And I store it with another name. This will be the picture uh, for the tie bar itself. Okay, that's all. All right, now we got the picture and we got the package file. Now we can go ahead and create the library. And the library is add part function. I want to create a new library from zero. The name of my library will be, for example, standards. Okay, name already exists. I give a new name. Maybe I call it MIP standards. You can have several library files. You can have, if you want, you know, 
10, 20 different libraries, one for standards, one for pilots, one for plates. Okay, the sub menu name. Uh, so now we have to give the sub menu title and sub menu the picture file. As remember the picture file I select from the list. These are the last selected uh, BMP files. And the title uh, will be tie bar, let me see, type one maybe. Okay, the tie bar type one. And now it's, I have to select the package file. Okay, and I can select also the BMP file, which I've created just two minutes ago. And this will be a file system load and the point to point positioning method. All right, and now that's all. Now we have added new files created because we have created a new one, and this is our new library now. See, tie bars title and this is the picture with the entry type one okay now let's uh, try our new library uh, I want to just first delete all and use on a blank tool set die set but before I delete them all I want to just copy those two plates so I just copy plate function I take this one Let's keep the same color. I copy the color as well. All right, now the plate is copied at the same position under the uh, root and this one as well. Okay, so now I've got uh, the two plates. Okay, the copy plate function just copies the exterior dimensions of the plate, which means that all the holes everything is not copied all right so here we go we have now the two plates exactly in the same position like the old ones without without any holes inside okay so we are ready just to apply i make a rough uh, work plane and create uh, some construction lines uh, I can use this method here, construction. Okay, oh, well, I missed it. Cross again, here one cross, and here one cross. Okay, I just, you know, give the uh, positions, mark the positions. Now I go to library, run the library, select the type bar I want, type one, and simply select the points four times and now as you see time bars are positioned into the plate there are no holes yet and now uh, we can just go ahead and use the you know this action but as you see uh, action is expecting only one single assembly here we have uh, shared assemblies but not one single assembly. There are four different assemblies. And let me first put them into one assembly. Okay. Of course, I could go and do one by one, but I want to you know, show you the better method is I put them into one assembly now. And if I say apply actions on this assembly, which already has four assemblies inside, as you see, it's taking all the actions, but on the right hand side, I see that the parts are not existing, not here. The reason is that as the actions are applying to Piastra Inferiore and Piastra Superiore, but here we have Inferiore 1 and Superiore 1, so I changed it now. Okay, now do the same thing again. I select the assembly and now everything is found okay I can just say apply all and all holes are applied each assembly opens up four holes and we have four assemblies so 16 holes are done now automatically Let's look at it from another side.
okay I cut it here see holes are here okay so this was it how to add a part to the library thank you